Okay, so I, 22 female, have an older brother, 28, that we'll call Jamie. We've been roommates since I was about 17. In that time, I've seen a lot of girls come and go, even when he was in a relationship with different girls. I'm not a huge fan of his actions or how he treats women in general, but it's his life and he's free to mess it up as much as he wants. So I turn a blind eye to it. He has four kids. His oldest daughter is a tween and is the only one he actually pays any child support on, but he rarely sees her. The other two are twin boys, post-toddler, that he has with one of my close friends. She didn't take him to court, so I do my best to provide for them if she needs help. His son, I don't know much about. I think he's younger than his daughter. He doesn't want kids and doesn't see them, but maybe a handful of times around the year and doesn't see his older son at all. He calls the one he has accidents and has said before that he wishes he hadn't had them because he gets irritated when their mothers call him. So essentially what happened was three years ago, Jamie met a girl named Natalie and they immediately hit it off. She's moved into our apartment and I like her well enough. I didn't expect her to last very long with his habits, but she surprised us both. Since I planned on moving out in a few months, she's been talking about renovating my room and all sorts of stuff they could do with the space. She even laughingly said that maybe it could be a nursery. I thought it was a joke and brushed it off. Well, a couple of weeks ago, while I was out at dinner with my friends, he had decorated the apartment and proposed to her. I congratulated them and didn't have any problems with this until a few nights ago when we drank and talked. Natalie was gushing about her plans for the wedding and her bridesmaids and her new ring. Here's what went wrong. She mentioned how she wanted kids as soon as she could and could see my brother being the best dad. I started laughing. Basically what I said was, he hasn't been the best dad to the four he has now. She asked what I meant and my brother started to freak out. I realized she didn't know and explained how he wasn't raising his kids and how he didn't even want to see them and didn't want kids at all. Apparently he hadn't told her about any of this. My brother was drunk and started yelling, so I called a friend and left. I stayed away a day or two and he blew up my phone. I guess he and Natalie are fighting horribly and he blamed me for it. I ruined his engagement and I'm an idiot for telling her as it should have been his choice to tell her about the kids. Our parents agree with him and haven't been talking to me. Honestly, I feel like I warned her before things got too serious. Even if it wasn't deliberate, he should have told her before about them. So, am I the idiot here? Not the idiot. It's been three years. If he hasn't told her by now, he did not plan to tell her. He's withholding a huge piece of information from her by not telling her he has four kids. And he ruined his own engagement by lying and leading this poor woman on. I hope she runs far from your brother. I had a family member be in a long-term relationship with the guy, live with him, and later found out he had an older child that he kept a secret from her. It was pretty traumatic for her. You saved her from making a huge mistake. Your brother, on the other hand, should probably get a vasectomy. Also, child support back pay is a huge deal. Sure, the women may be okay with the arrangement now, but if and when they change their minds, oh boy, he's also sitting there and letting Natalie go on about how he would be the best dad and how she can't wait to have kids when he stated to OP he doesn't want kids and wish he never had them. OP, you saved her from entering into a situation she did not agree to and on accident at that. I find it funny how he claims it's his choice to tell her if he has children but he sees nothing wrong with taking away Natalie's choice of deciding whether or not she wants to be in a relationship or marry a man who has chosen not to take care of his four children. So why does he get to choose, but she doesn't get a choice to make an informed decision? And why is he so mad anyway? So he's the one that chooses to not be in his other kid's life. And now all of a sudden he's a saint? I hope the girlfriend, hopefully ex now, runs fast. And as far as the parents go, enabling much? Background. I've been married to my husband, Jack, for three years. I have a teen son from my previous marriage, and Jack has an 18-year-old son from a previous marriage as well. My stepson and my son aren't close, and they only see each other while they visit. 
but everyone is happy with these arrangements and there are rarely any issues. My stepson's 18th birthday was a couple of months ago. I wasn't at the party since his mom hosted it, but Jack told me he bought him a car because he's been needing it since he has a disability and will be going off to college. I saw the pictures and the car looked nice. Now, my son's birthday took place this past week. My son and I were both excited about the gift Jack said he'd bring, and I hinted to my son that it would most likely be a car, just like the one his stepbrother got recently. It turned out we were wrong, because at the party, Jack's gift for my son was a gaming console. My son got so upset that he went to his room and shut the door mid-party. Everyone noticed something was wrong and left shortly. Jack looked confused this entire time and asked what the deal was. I asked if he really didn't know, and he just stared. I told him that my son was expecting something like a car as a gift. Jack asked why, and I told him that my stepson recently got one for his 18th birthday. I bluntly told him that my son was rightfully disappointed, and so was I in this gift, and really thought it was unfair especially since my son told his friends he was getting a car from his stepdad. Jack argued about the difference in circumstances, saying his son needs the car to drive to college while my son doesn't need it. And besides, he doesn't have a disability like his stepbrother and can walk or commute. He also said that I shouldn't have assumed it'd be a car, and I messed up by hinting this to my son. I couldn't help but notice the difference in treatment. I let him know that no matter how he tries to explain his reasons, my son will always feel like he's less than his stepbrother in a way, and what happened now will make it worse, even between the stepbrother, not just him and my son. Jack called me unbelievable, and that I should feel ashamed, then rushed out. He's expecting me to get involved and ease things between him and my son, but I decided to give my son time to process this. Am I the idiot for what I said? You are the idiot. Why don't you and the child's father buy a car for your son? Your husband is not obligated to buy his stepson a vehicle. Your stepson did not get a car at your son's age. He got one at 18. So to expect your son's stepfather to buy a car for him when the kid is two years younger would make you an idiot too. I feel sorry for your husband. He married someone who only wants him for his money. Your son expected a car because of you. Why in the world would you hint at that? and put that expectation in his head. Your husband is not responsible for buying your son a car. You and his father are responsible for buying your son a car. You are the idiot, and you set your husband up to fail and potentially ruin their relationship. I bet she got nothing for her stepson, but don't worry, at least she's doing an excellent job as a parent. She's teaching her bio son that it's okay to act like an ungrateful spoiled brat. Isn't it great? Maybe the son should donate the game console to a family whose kid would appreciate it. His behavior is completely unacceptable, as is yours. My ex-wife and I got divorced. One of the reasons is that she was, still is, married to her job and not me, three years ago. As a result, we have 50-50 custody of our young son. I met my current girlfriend almost two years ago, and we're planning on getting engaged at the end of 2022. My girlfriend adores my son and likes to spend time with him. She'd even let my ex drop my son off at our place because of work. She's a nurse. This occurred several times and although my girlfriend never complained, I just couldn't help feel that my ex was taking advantage of my girlfriend's good nature and basically messing up our custody agreement. The other day, my girlfriend and I were home. My ex-wife called her, asking if she could drop my son off for a few hours my ex-wife was on speaker when she was speaking to my girlfriend on the phone, so I heard from a distance. I took the phone right before my girlfriend could say yes and firmly told my ex-wife, no, and to stop taking advantage of my girlfriend. She kept on about how she needed to cover this emergency shift right then and couldn't find a replacement on such short notice. I said it wasn't mine and my girlfriend's fault and that she should be ashamed of herself for using my girlfriend like that. My girlfriend kept staring as my ex said that she wasn't using her since she's my son's future stepmom. I said, well, that doesn't make her your personal babysitter, but she said it's between her and my girlfriend. My girlfriend told me to let my ex-wife bring my son over, but if I let it happen again, 
This will set a precedent for my ex-wife to pull similar stunts in the future. My ex-wife begged, but I told her to get a babysitter. She said something about not finding one, but I hung up and handed the phone back to my girlfriend. My girlfriend looked upset with me and said that none of what I did was called for, that I should have let my ex-wife bring my son over. I asked if she was fine with being used as a babysitter, and she said that spending time with my son is not like babysitting. I let her know that always saying yes and not setting boundaries won't do her any good. She got more upset and said I blew this out of proportion and ruined some great time with my son. She went upstairs and acted hurt by how I handled the situation. I thought I was helping her stand up for herself and set boundaries with those who try to take advantage of her. Am I the idiot? I think there's something wrong. You don't seem to have given any thought to your child's well-being. Won't he be happier with you and your girlfriend instead of a sitter? You don't appear interested in seeing your son. Your ex is a medical professional, and we're in the midst of a global situation. You seem more interested in exerting control over your ex, girlfriend, and son than actually building relationships. Yeah, you are the idiot. I'd like to add that the girlfriend and ex seem to have a really good co-parenting relationship. So why is OP getting in the way of something that is ideal for his child's best interest? It's an immature and stupid move and in no way will win any Father of the Year awards. Do better than this pettiness that only hurts your child. Be better for your kid, OP. I'm not sure your ex is married to her job. She's a nurse during a global issue. And what kind of father refuses to see more of his child? And if you think your ex is married to her job, why did you agree to 50-50 custody? Why didn't you go for full custody and visitations for your ex? You made decisions for your girlfriend and just assumed she didn't know how to stand up for herself. You were rude to your ex and to your girlfriend in just one conversation. I get the feeling that you're going to be single for a long time. Agree. Girlfriend should ditch him and date the ex. That way, she can spend all her time with the son. Do you know how fortunate you are? You have a girlfriend who not only loves spending time with your son, but has a good relationship with your ex, and an ex who trusts and respects your girlfriend. Do you have any idea how many exes make the lives of step-parents a living nightmare out of pure spite? Do I think your ex is taking advantage of your girlfriend? Yes. But any extra time you have to spend with your son seems like a win to me. My wife is a stay-at-home mom and I work long hours. When I get home, I just want to take a break for a little bit before helping out. But every day I get back, she immediately throws our baby at me and tells me to watch him while she goes breast pumps and watches Korean drama for like an hour. I got her one of those portable pumps. Willow, no tubing, fits in the bra so she's not stuck to one position while pumping. She says she can't do chores or baby care because pumping is painful and she needs to do something she enjoys to get her mind off the pain or else she can't get enough milk during that session. I told her I didn't believe her and she was using pumping milk production as an excuse to take a break and get away for an hour. I don't mind giving her a break, but I feel like she's making it up to justify a break. She accused me of calling her a liar. By the way, when I say I work long hours, I'm talking like 14 to 18 hours a day, six days a week. There are days I only have six hours off between shifts, but instead of sleeping, I have to watch our baby for an hour, resulting in me only getting five hours of sleep for several nights. And I do help out a little during the six days, and we split the rest of the work on my day off. If she had said, I need a break to go watch drama, you watch him for an hour, I would not have questioned it. She's always worried about my health as well. Half the night she gets up before I wake up to do my night feeding or diaper shift so I get more sleep. I was just wondering whether she said that because she felt guilty she's asking me to give up an hour of sleep to take a break. So she made an excuse. Or is this a real thing? My milk letdown is low if I'm not fully relaxed and distracted from the pain. You have access to the entire internet but instead of looking at resources about breast pumping to see if you could help your wife with the pain of pumping, you come here to ask if you're wrong for disbelieving her? You are the idiot. Thoroughly. OP, you are the idiot. Go take your baby for a walk for that hour. 
Put a load of washing in the machine before you leave on that walk. It will actually be good for your health and well-being to get exercise with the added bonus of giving your wife an hour of alone time while doing something heinously painful. If you're overworked, then time to cut back your shifts, talk to your boss, or start looking for another job. Oh, and if you think this is tiring, then wear protection to prevent baby number two. As a dad who used to work very similar hours, I can say unequivocally, you are the idiot. Jesus, she's home all day, taking care of the kid, tending to the house, etc. Even if she just needs a break, give it to her. She bore your child. My Lord, try being a partner and a father. I understand your predicament. You're looking at this the wrong way. You aren't considering that she's working all day too, and her job is just as hard as yours in a different way. It comes with almost no time off, but for the bits of sleep she can get, or that hour you give her when you get home, she's a 24-hour-a-day milking machine, and it's hard work. You need to reach out to family, see if someone can come in and help her out, and lighten the load. Hire a nanny or a housekeeper, who comes in twice a week for a while, Ask grandma or grandpa to take the baby for a walk so mom can rest, etc. Seriously. My fiancé and I got engaged around the same time as both of my parents, divorced and engaged to other people. I didn't think much of it beyond a strange coincidence, but my fiancé expressed a couple of times that she thought it weird that they were planning weddings around the same time as their son, and she felt most parents would want to focus on their child. Recently, she came to me and asked if we could postpone for a year. I was immediately concerned and asked why. She said that she didn't like the idea of competition with my parents, which ruined the experience for her. She feels bad about our wedding because we can't afford for it to be as fancy as theirs. My dad's fiance is doing everything super over the top and my fiance feels lame. My mom's wedding is much smaller, but the stuff she's getting is really high end. She also said she's jealous of my mom's dress and it's really ruining the experience. For some background, she and my mom hate each other. They've got to the point that they're civil and we just don't get together much, but I know deep down they really can't stand each other. My dad's fiance is very braggy and likes to one-up people. I get why that would bother her, but I still can't imagine postponing marriage for a year. I said that she was being pretty shallow and it makes me feel like we're in a life where she will be constantly disappointed because I'm never going to be able to buy her the things my dad and my mom's fiancés can get their partners. We are solidly middle class, and I do work full time, but that isn't going to happen. She said I'm being mean, and I should have validated her feelings. She's pretty hurt right now and mad that I called her shallow and wants me to support postponing fully. She isn't going to my mom's wedding, and I support that. We are currently distancing ourselves from my dad and his fiance, but I felt I had to be honest about my feelings, and I don't see this as a good reason to postpone. Dude, everything you've just written down, if you love your future wife, postpone it to whichever date she wants. She's not shallow for thinking that. You are the idiot, but really it's a bad situation. Learn from your parents' mistakes and have a bit of give and take from the get-go. She wants her wedding to be a day she's proud of and happy with. She wanted to postpone the wedding so she wouldn't feel outshined and you just insulted her. Most women love wedding planning and getting everything settled regardless of the budget. You are ruining y'all's wedding for her. Not the idiot, but I do think postponing the wedding is a good idea because it sounds like you need counseling to sort through a better way to handle these family dynamics than what's currently happening or just for you to sort out if you really want a partner who's this hung up on your parents and their drama in the first place. You are the idiot. I would postpone. A wedding is supposed to be a magical once in a lifetime event. Your fiance is not looking forward to it or the stress of planning. It doesn't help that our wedding's likely being compared to people who have had double the years plus to save for it. There are a lot of stupid reasons to postpone a wedding. I don't think this is one of them. If I were in her shoes, your reaction tells me that your marriage will be your fiancé versus your mom, and you're going to take your mom's side. Look into counseling before y'all get married. Not saying it can't work, but y'all need to be prepared.